G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, a lot of people, and particularly anyone who's new to the crypto uh, sort of sphere, crypto space, probably panicked a little bit when Bitcoin had the dump and it's probably even been panicking more since Bitcoin has been trading sideways. And we can see here for the last seven days, traded sideways, had that big pump, and then just kind of fell off and now we're back to trading sideways. So if you're new to this space, don't worry, this is actually great. Now, if you're just in Bitcoin, uh, it doesn't really much do much for you, uh, other than you just watch a trade sideways and lose a bit here. But if you are in more than Bitcoin, check your alts. If you've bought any altcoins, when you see Bitcoin trading sideways, have a look at what happens to your alts. Now, we can't see too much here. Not a lot going in sort of the top five and that. But let's have a look at what's happened in the last 24 hours, particularly while Bitcoin's been trading sideways. OMG Network, 68% in 24 hours. It's up 244% in seven days. Uh, that's to do with Tether getting on board, but still 244%. Jeez, I wish I had some OMG. I don't, unfortunately. OX, uh, 0x Network. It's up nearly 50% in 24 hours. Yes, they're all starting to pull back a little bit now, that's to be expected, but 40% in 24 hours, 76% uh, in seven days. Uh, I think this is Nexus Mutual, uh, the insurance, you know, nearly 40% in 24 hours, 185%. So this is what happens. Don't be alarmed if you see Bitcoin trading sideways, and particularly don't be alarmed if you see a bit of a retracement. When anything pumps, there's always going to be a, a retracement, which is most likely what's gonna to happen to all of these pumps as well. Don't get me wrong, they could still pump again tomorrow, but at some stage, and most likely I'd say over the weekend, you're gonna see a bit of a retracement. So for instance, we see 47% here. Uh, it's already pulled back 10%. It could possibly pull back another 10%. So then you've only got 20% gains, but still, this is amazing gains. I love when Bitcoin sort of goes to sleep and basically just trades sideways and doesn't do anything because that's when I watch my altcoins absolutely pump. I'm loving it at the moment. I, I can't get enough. I'm more than happy when uh, Bitcoin trades sideways. Don't get me wrong. I don't want it to trade sideways forever. I want Bitcoin to go up as well. But it's just that cycle. And as soon as you understand the cycle, Bitcoin pumps these will sell off a bit and everyone will be chucking their money into bitcoin bitcoin will get to its top and then start to sell off a little bit and trade sideways and then everyone chucks their money back not everyone but a lot of people then chuck their money back into alts it's just uh, it follows the same cycle time and time again so you know if you're just in bitcoin then at the moment it's probably not doing a whole lot for you but if you're in you know like me and in alts and bitcoin as well in both then this is great because while Bitcoin's sleeping and not doing much, my alts are pumping. And then when my alts start to sell off a little bit and sort of go to sleep, Bitcoin's pumping. And it's just sort of that, I don't want to say never ending cycle because it doesn't last forever. There's going to be a point where we go into our next bear market. But this is where the big gains are made from your altcoins right now while Bitcoin's sleeping. Again, you know, you can go down, they're all double digits over the last 24 hours. It's just double digit, double digit, double digit. And, you know, you've got to go a fair way down. Here we go, to start to get to the single digits. But even the single digits are high single digits, a lot of them, you know, still near 10%. We go to a few that are down here, you know, around 4 or 5%. But again, you go back to traditional markets. You know, if something's gone up by 5 or 10% in a year, that has absolutely pumped, that's amazing. Cryptocurrency, that's just an old sleepy 24 hour period. So something very, very interesting uh, for, for new people to the space who don't really understand. Again, if you've you know diversified your portfolio a little bit into Bitcoin and you know, again, so me, I've got Bitcoin's my main one, Ethereum's my second uh, biggest one, and then XRP's my third biggest one. And then I've got a ton of different alts. I've probably got about 15-ish percent of my entire portfolio in sort of random alts outside of the top three. And they are pumping at the moment, absolutely pumping. Like 0x, I got, I got into that, so the last seven days I've been quite happy, particularly the last 24, and I'm not surprised to see a 10% uh, sell-off in the last hour. I wouldn't be surprised if there's not another 10%, and we end up with around sort of, you know, 
20 30 percent uh, profits but what you have to keep a lookout for is while this happens a lot of people they're waiting for Bitcoin to make a move and as soon as Bitcoin makes a move and more so to the upside than anything but if it starts to make it move to the upside all of a sudden people will start selling off uh, the profits that they've made from their altcoins and putting it into Bitcoin and they're trying to chase those pumps and look, some people are pretty good at it and do pretty well, but as I've said in a number of my videos, I'm not a day trader. I do, I do do some swing trading and definitely position trading. When I see something that looks like it's setting up to pump, I'll build a position right there. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Uh, generally, again, it's you know in a bear market, everything's going to pump at some stage. So really, for me, not financial advice, but if I buy something and it dips, I just hold. Uh, I'm, I'm confident we're in a bear market and at some stage, you know, provided it doesn't just basically go bust and it's a crap coin, it's going to pump at some stage and I'll likely make my money back and some. So at the moment, I think I've only got one coin that is not in profit and that's Unibright. And I was just unlucky. I bought it at its absolute peak, you know, a couple of months back and it's just been ranging between 20% loss uh, right through to about sort of 35% loss. But... I'm just going to hold it. I'm not going to sell it at a loss. If it goes to zero, it goes to zero. I didn't put that much in to start with, but I just, yeah, I kind of refuse to sell uh, at a loss. Some might say that's silly and I probably should cut my losses, but again, we're so early in what I believe is the next uh, bull cycle that I believe I'm still going to, you know, if I didn't at least double my money from here, I'd be surprised. And again, if I don't, fair enough, so be it. But we can see the market cap's 379 billion. So again, we dropped down a little bit from that 380 billion. Now we do have the weekend coming up. So that is something that, you know, as I say, traditionally, we usually get a bit of a sell-off over weekends. It doesn't always happen though. It's not every single time, but quite often on a weekend, you know, there'll be a bit of a pullback. So we'll just have to wait and see. And then usually come sort of Monday, Tuesday, everything starts to pick back up again so we'll just have to wait and see what happens but lastly I just wanted to go over here and have a look at this article so grayscale they put out a bit of a report and they say the Bitcoin 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 <laughs> Bitcoin market looks like 2016 before its historic bull run so that is pretty impressive and you know there's lots of institutional money getting it at the moment but it's not all institutional money and we definitely haven't even seen retail get in. You know, once the new retail get in, we're going to see prices really start to soar. And, you know, based on sort of the report they put out, it's quite possible that Bitcoin could 20x from here. So again, it's at around about that $11,000 mark. So the 20x from here kind of takes it up to that kind of $200,000 mark. So that's very interesting. That's if it repeats what it did last time. And most cycles have been getting a little bit less than last time uh, and have taken a little bit longer to get there. But we've never had uh, the kind of institutional money and all the on-ramps and off-ramps that we currently have. So, you know, this could be the biggest crypto run uh, ever. You know, we'll just have to wait and see. Or again, maybe it will just play out exactly the way it has been, that they're getting smaller and smaller every time. But I'm... I'm quite confident that we're in a bull run from everything I've seen and again going back here you don't see 24 hour periods like this in a bear market you, you just don't this is all bull market uh, kind of stuff so yeah I am more than happy for Bitcoin to trade sideways for a little bit longer you know even over the weekend into sort of Monday because I know the altcoins are absolutely going to pump but look don't get me wrong if Bitcoin takes you know a big dive these are all going to take a big dive as well. So that's one of the things. When Bitcoin goes up, these guys bleed. When Bitcoin goes down, generally these guys all bleed as well. But when Bitcoin travels side, trades sideways, that's when all the altcoins start to pump. So my personal belief is uh, we are 100% in a bull market and we have been for a while. You know, we've broken out of old resistance lines and things like that. We're still really struggling with that, you know, $12,000 mark. But again, the market crap, market crap, God, <laughs> I am really struggling today. The market cap, it just continues to grow. There's definitely days where it pulls back a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised for us to see that $400 billion mark, I'd say sometime in September, quite easy. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not even uh, a whole lot further. But anyway, that's it from me. 
I uh, don't want to take too much of your time. It's Friday night here, so I want to go and enjoy some rugby league and things like that. Again, just wanted to make sure uh, that everyone was aware, but more so for the newbies, that if Bitcoin's trading sideways, that's when your altcoins are generally going to do the best. And when Bitcoin gets on a run, the altcoins will bleed off a little bit. Really, the altcoins start to bleed if Bitcoin's doing anything other than going uh, up or down. Sorry, Bitcoin uh, altcoins, God, I'm really struggling today. Altcoins uh, generally bleed if Bitcoin is going up or down. But if Bitcoin's going sideways, that's when the altcoins are really starting to pump. And that's where you're going to make those really big gains. All right, that's it for me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Enjoy your weekend. I hope you're still on that game train. And I'll see you next time.